fantasy love strings because everyone I've... Oh, Dad, I, you know, it's, it's going to be too, too fluffy. What is love strings about? Love Strings is about a man who teaches college, and he becomes infatuated with one of his students. Oh, Dad. That's a chick flick. It's not a chick flick, Ben. It's a romantic comedy, and I don't like that phrase, chick flick. Dad, honestly, I think I would rather go see Firepower. Because it's, uh... <sighs> Those movies, they, they rattle me, Just think me, about ben. it. Firepower. Yeah. Firepower. Well, I'm willing to see this Firepower thing, but I don't want to see it on a... On a Tuesday night. Um, because I, I have a hard time falling asleep after I see all that violence. So why don't we go to, we'll see a matinee of firepower. Ugh. If you come with me tonight to see Love Strings. Here's the deal, Dad. Mm -hmm. Do what I say. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> we go see my movie. It's a better choice. Um, I know what I'm talking about. I represent the youth of America. You should tap into that. I, I, I feel like seeing a romantic comedy would, would inspire one or both of us to go out and Yeah, and yeah but that's the kind of romance. movie I think you would want to see with, uh, with friends, if you had any. <laughs> oh. So, uh... Oh, oh I, I slipped that in there, didn't I? forgot I? about the popularity contest you won last week, Ben. I'm sorry. Hey, Dad, if hey, did I Did I ever congratulate friends, you on that? Oh, dear. Dad, yeah. how many, honestly, if you wanted to go mm -hmm. to a movie with somebody yeah. that wasn't, uh, that... That it, was not you? That was not me. Who would it be? Siskel and Ebert. <laughs> no, I mean not. I mean realistically. Siskel. <laughs> <laughs> I love the ladies. You know that? I love the ladies. I l I'll do anything to be with the ladies. I will sit through the English patient, boys on the side, Nell, Carrington, Sister Act 1, Sister Act 2, Hope and Glory, any Merchant Ivory film, Maul Flanders, and a nine-hour director's cut of the unbearable, and I mean the unbearable lightness of being, just to watch the ladies make waffles with the top off, all right? What's Carrington? I'm Patton Oswalt. I'm a, I have an appointment... And with Dr. Katz and like, I don't know, like, my appointment's like in 10 minutes, but I just need to use, it's a local call. And all I'm going to do is I'm just checking my messages on your, using your phone to check. Fine. What's the number? You, I can, I'll just dial it if that's, I can. You can't eat. reach. It's unbelievable, Dr. Katz. I no. can't even deal with it, okay? What, I'm like one is, bad, what, I'm one bad relationship. But don't interrupt me, you, okay? What, what, I have this isn't about you. It's about me. I, I have problems, okay? I am one bad relationship away from being with a man, okay? You're going to see me in the gay pride parade. I'm here. I'm not queer. But at least somebody pays attention to me, so get over it, all right? What's the code? No, I can't. I, I'd rather. I'm not supposed to give the code out. I can. I'll just enter it and then I'll listen. You can't the, reach the phone from there. No, I'm not saying. If I just. What do you think I'm going to do? Call in for your messages? Well, okay. You, but don't like. All right. It's S P R. S P R. F L Y. F L Y. Okay. And then, okay, I'll just... No, no, I need to listen to them, though. I need to listen to them. <laughs> no, if I... Uh, <laughs> can, can I... Oh. Uh, all right, let me just... So you, you, you feel like you can't separate your real life from, from the movies? Yeah! But that's not such a good thing. What, what, what is your favorite movie of all time? Star Wars of you know of all time why is that that was my generation's Kennedy assassination how so that's where everyone my age remembers where they were when they first saw Star Wars well weren't they all in the theater you know who I found out almost got the part of uh, Han Solo was uh, Nick Nolte no kidding but he lost out to Harrison Ford and oh man that that would have made it such a better movie well different with that, you know, that gut hanging over his pistol belt, just not really committing to the whole idea of it. Just, ah, hail Chewbacca, go fix it, the damn hyperdrive. Ah, Jesus. Ah, hail you. Know, Luke, that's not a space. Ah. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. You take the popcorn and the drinks and find the seats. But you know what I don't like? What's it? When I walk in from the bathroom. I never know where you are because I can't see in the dark. You know what I'll do? 
Right. I'll have one of the drinks balanced on the top of my head, Ben, because that's the only way I can carry this much stuff to the seats anyway. All right, fine. Whatever happened to uh, teamwork? Whatever happened to a father and son helping each other out? All right, come out of the bathroom with me. I'm not bringing popcorn into the men's room. Why not? Because then you got to share it with everybody. <laughs> You know, you ask a movie critic if the movies are getting better or worse, mm. and the chances are they're going to say, uh, please pass the popcorn. <laughs> they're just like everybody else. They love the snacks. Yeah. Raisinets. That's the best thing about the theater, you think? Goobers and Raisinets. I, they used to try to lump them together, Goobers and Raisinets. They're, what was it called? Goobers and Raisinets. <laughs> hey, look, I know for a fact that that's not so funny. <laughs> I know. You know what I'm going to do with this drink, Dan? What's that? Put it right here. Yeah. In the drink holder. Mm -hmm. Save a little bit for later. Those are great, those things. I love these things. That's a real improvement. That's a breakthrough, I think. The only major problem there. You know who invented those? Who? Uh, Michael Drinkholder. <laughs> I'm excited about you, this can one, you get though. that away from I can't stand the smell of popcorn at this point in my life. Dan, I got it for both of us. I know, but I am so... S we, we, this is our third movie this week, Ben, and... It's a lot of popcorn is what I'm saying, you know. All right, you know what? Well, next time when we uh, see a movie tomorrow night, which we will, yeah. uh, we'll get popcorn without butter. I ain't going to bring some fresh vegetables with me because I feel like we're slowly killing ourselves eating this crap every night, you know? I think that maybe you're right, Dad. I think they should provide other types of food in the theater. I don't know well, why they don't do that. And especially, it's such a competitive business. You would think that a, that a, um, a theater that served... Uh, Thousands of people... Right. Yeah, no, no, you finish the thought. <laughs> no, can I, I finish? Just... Can I finish the idea here? Yeah, you know, you I'm don't saying... have to get snippy. No, I, I just you constantly interrupt me. You know. First of all, I do not constantly interrupt you. Well, second... what I was about to say, yeah, was that I assumed yeah, you were about. Can't... Shut your mouth! <laughs> why do you have to yap? But constantly I... yap, so especially. I think, in a... I think we're bothering those people behind us. Yeah, well, let them look. Well, you've never seen a father and son argue. Shh. I've never been shushed before the movie started. I know, it's embarrassing. Were we talking loudly? I'm hungry! <laughs> but see, but the, the thing is, and don't take this personally, but I need an enemy. I'm always looking for an enemy. My life goes better mm -hmm. when I, not if I have a good relationship or a good girlfriend. It goes better if I have an arch enemy. So what I've done is I've decided to hate you. Right. You're my enemy, and the only way to defeat you is by getting better mentally so I don't have to give you money anymore, and then I win. And <clears throat> how would I win? Like, okay, you know how, like, when we're talking and then you'll, you'll, you'll like, make a breakthrough and you go, maybe, don't you think that that stems from this? And I'll go, oh, yeah. But if you could say that with more of, a like, a triumphant sneer, like a maniacal sneer, like, oh, I've discovered, that was very foolish, Mr. Yeah. Oswald. You showed me too many cards. Oh, say that all the time. You showed me one too many cards, Mr. Oswald. I, I can try, but I... I try this. Try that. Ready? I don't do impressions. Just do like this. Advantage cats. Like whenever I, whenever I reveal something about myself, just, advantage cats. Oh, okay. just so, try that. Okay, well, say something revealing. Okay. Uh, sometimes I think that I, that, that I sabotage myself... To, to try to teach myself not to be inconsistent by sabotaging myself. Advantage cats? No, not... Listen, you, see, now you sound defeated. No, you've got to be like, advantage. <clears throat> you got to lean... F steeple your fingers. You know, like, I hope, steeple your little I finger you, like you're thinking how... You know, this like, whole thing is new to me. You know, aren't there, is, there a way, is there a way to, like, strap me to this couch? Uh, no. Do the, okay, let's try that again. Okay, Ready? Uh, I'm afraid of success because of my uh, low self-image. Go. Ah, hi, laddie. You're playing right into my hands. No, not... There's no Irish supervillains. Don't be Irish. You have to be just like... Just be evil. Yeah, well, that or Austrian. Okay, I'm just going to make some notes for myself here so that next week when you come in, mm -hmm. I will be up and running, mm -hmm. you know? Now, Laura doesn't need any... She's perfect. No, she doesn't need any prep at all. No, she is ready to go.
you know, the, the, the therapists in movies are always portrayed as bad guys, and that I find annoying. Really? Yeah. Name any movie with a therapist in it. I don't know well, any other movies. Killer Therapist. <laughs> um, Night of the Living Therapist. The therapist from Hell. One Flew Over the Therapist's Head. <laughs> a young Ian and a gentleman. He came from the planet Freud. <laughs> Do you see who just walked in? What's up? Did you see who just walked in? Oh, my God. Is that Laura? Yeah. With some guy. Yeah, it does look like a... Kind of looks like a guy. She's probably on a date, Ben. She's, she's probably not on a date. That's probably a relative, a brother or a cousin or an uncle, a really young uncle. Maybe. You might be right. No, I don't think you are because... All right, Dad, you know, that's enough. If, uh... Yeah. You know, if she is on a date, I think we should go over and ruin it. Why would you I mean, I think it's our responsibility to, to make sure that that uh, relationship doesn't happen. I think she can handle that. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah, but, you know, we might want to help it along. You want to go over and say hi? I, I, I'm uncomfortable doing that, you know? Well, I mean... If you want to go do it, go ahead. Go ahead and say hi. Well, you know, I don't think we should s separate. If we should both go over and say hi together or not go at all. Okay, then hold my hand. We'll go over there. <laughs> no. You know what? Maybe I'll just throw some popcorn at her head and then that will be that. Okay. Dr. Katz's office. Morning, Laura. Hi, Ben. So, uh, Laura. Laura, Laura. What did you uh, do last night? Go to the movies, perhaps? Yeah. How did you know? Well, I saw you. You know, me and, me and you were at the same theater last night. Oof. Watching the exact same movie at the exact same time. Wow. Yeah. I was uh, actually five rows behind you. Ben, what do you want? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to, uh, you know, know how your date went. None of your business. Hey, it's cool, baby. You know, I date a lot. I was, uh, I was there on a date myself, actually. With who? Your father? Yes. Yeah, that's great. So, how long have you been going out with this guy? Uh, none of your business. That's cool. I can totally uh, respect your uh, privacy. Good, good. Yeah, did you sleep with him? Dr. Katz's office. Laura, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I got cut off. Did you sleep with him? Dr. Katz's office. Laura, I apologize for being so blunt. I, I was out of line, you know? Did you have sex? I'm talking right now. Okay, you want me to calm down? Yeah. Is that what you want? You want me to be real for a few seconds? You want to see if I can do it, right? That would make you feel better. You could walk out of here, give yourself a pat on the back, take Laura out for a little cappuccino and go, guess what? Sam Brown calmed down today for five seconds. For five seconds, we saw a little window into his soul. Little Sammy was cute little Sammy before all the bad happened, right? <sighs> Sam, I, 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 you, I can measure the progress that you and I have made over the last few months. Mm-hmm. I still feel like you arrive with so much anger, and so much of it is, I feel, is directed towards me, and... No, don't take it personally. I hate everybody. You're just getting it right now. Well, that's very kind of you to yeah. say that. It's not about you, okay? I just... Thanks for turning it back to yourself, no, Mr. I just, Selfish. No, I just wish You that... find a way every single time. I'm sorry, you're right. I should, I should not have done that. That was not appropriate. But I just... I wish there was some way you could harness that anger. Nah. Nah. I have bad feelings eh? out with a bad oh. This is good. This is really yeah. good. Yeah. Take it up an octave. Okay. see this guy again or are you gonna uh then i mean is this gonna be a regular thing none of your business right right i know but i mean are you i don't know because he uh, you know what to be honest with you I, I think that's a bad idea you know why is that well i mean that guy was really good looking yeah and uh that's gonna end up disappointing you later 
I mean, I think you should set your sights lower and then get surprised. Hmm. You know what I mean? Ben, I'm not going to go out with you. You know, it's a coincidence that the, they're playing movies at that theater uh, even this weekend. They run them every day there? Really? Actually, there's an Orson Welles retrospective this weekend. I don't know if, you, uh, if you're into him. I don't know who he is, but... Did you hear what I just said? What's that? I'm not going to go out with you. Oh, go out with me? Oh, right. But, you know, we could... It wouldn't be a date. Mm, yeah, no, Ben, I don't think so. I'll kick in for your ticket. Oh, Ben. Well, I'm not begging here. You're so pathetic. Sometimes I just want to... I don't know. Well, what? Pinch you. I'll take it. Oh, God. I'm into it. I'm sorry. I like the weird stuff. Oh, hey. Um, you know what? I've got an extra ticket for the ballet tomorrow night. Um, if either of you guys are interested. You want to go? And the world comes to a dead stop. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm not saying that I'm, I can't go to the ballet tomorrow night. Okay. I'm just saying until I've done everything else in the world there is to do, mm. I'm not comfortable going to the ballet yet. So it wouldn't mm -hmm. be tomorrow. Tomorrow's not good for me. Well, that's the that. only offer I'm making right now. Really? Well, mm -hmm. that's the only one I'm turning down. Well, I'd like to know what it is that you guys are doing that tomorrow night that's... If, no, I, if you don't want to go, Julie, Julie, you know what? I would be there for you. For I, I can't go tomorrow. I, I'm going to uh, the other ballet tomorrow. Oh. What other ballet? Uh, hockey. That's not a ballet. You know, I heard, a ballet. I, I heard, and you know, maybe this is just a rumor, that, that, that all these ballets are fixed. The control, the John, no, do, I have why a, don't you come I have a, I have a, actually have a date to go to the movies with Ben, you know, because oh. it's, a, wow. well, it's supposed to get dark tomorrow night. Yeah. And whenever that happens, we go to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, can I tell you an idea I had for a movie? Um, if this is a pitch... Uh, okay, yeah. pretend you're a, I, you're, you're a Hollywood producer, okay? I walk into your office. Okay. Who are you? D Dr. Katz, I'm here to see uh, uh, Sydney executive head. That's... I'm not great with <laughs> why does he have to be? Why does he have to be Jewish? Can I pitch an idea to you, Mr. T. Rob? First of all, I'm a professional therapist, so... Three words or less. Okay, karate kid, but with yoga. Good. Sold. Well, that was easy. What about you play the executive? I'll come in. Okay, okay. Get on your market set, go. What's the idea? It's a story about a father and a son. Right. And the father... So far, so good. The father in this movie constantly squishes the son's dreams. Um, and the father is a bad person. He's bald. Mm -hmm. And he's bad. It's called Endless Yapper, and it stars you. Next! <laughs> What has become of us? Yeah, just shut up Cats. and find a movie. This Dad. is not normal, Ben. We shouldn't be going to the movies every night. Yeah, you know? it's perfectly normal, all right? Well, we, we should just go for a walk, get a cup of coffee, sit down and talk. No, yeah, that's real normal, Dad. <laughs> Why don't we read books instead? Well, maybe because we're Americans? No, we're not going to the movies, Ben. We'll rent. No, we, we have to stop. We have to be strong, Ben. You know, you're right. I, I do prefer the big screen experience anyway. I think it's, uh, I think it's bigger. <laughs> We, we, we've lost the art of conversation. What does that mean? <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Goo -goo. Uh, loo, loo, loo. See, we haven't lost it. No, I, get, I don't know who I was thinking of. Hey, let's draw a bunch of pictures of a horse mm -hmm. and flip through them really fast so it looks like a, <laughs> looks like a horse is moving. This <laughs> is <laughs> the most desperate idea I've ever heard in my oh, life. Oh, man. Ben, let's... put the newspaper down. Look at me. You're my son. I love you. Hey, is that from The Godfather? You're doing the, the thing with the... Can't we just talk not Can't about it? movies? Let's talk about you, Ben. How are you? Do it in Brando's voice. <laughs> Please, just do that. Dude, dude. I can't, I don't do impressions. Uh, that was a good start, though. That's the way Brando started every, every line. Uh. Are you going to be all right, Dad? You've won that round, Dr. Katz. You've won that round. But I'll be back. 
But no, that's me. I, yeah, that's I what go I mean. out. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sorry, man. See, I can't even. I can't keep track of this. This is too complicated. No, it's so simple. You're the one that make. You're, you're adding levels to this. My garage mechanic understood this immediately when I told him you need to be Commander Demon Wrench. He made a cape. He had a mask. He even got he got like a hand puppet. This little goblin hand puppet, and he would he would use that to insult me. Yeah. And he would have the other mechanics in the garage dressed as ninjas when I would come in. It was amazing. It was you see, really. But they're, they're trained to do that. But he he went beyond the training. Of course, yeah. they're trained to dress like ninjas. Uh, you know, I. You know what the music means. But see, okay, but, okay, right there, right there, right there. That music. There's the. We're gonna have to stop. No, that see right there. That's that's the problem right there. That stinks. The music is so tinkly. It. it I feel like I'm at a uh, toy store. You have to. That needs to be like an organ sting, like nee, and then you go. That spells your doom, Oswald. And then I. And then I go in your dreams, hair doctor. And then I run out. What do you call me, hair doctor? Ha- no, not not a hair. You're not hair doctor. Oh, I'm sorry. So that needs to be, that right there needs to be like a big one. I I, I know what you're going for, but it's just not the way I work. Your time is ticking. That spells your doom. How about one Mississippi? No, that's... No. no, no, no. (laughs) So we're not playing hide and seek? No, you're right. Or are we? Ooh, now they, see? See, I think this is just a very elaborate device to avoid talking about you. Also to avoid leaving. You know what you should do? You, 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 um, you got to get that music, and then you got to go, I'm tired of you. Hmm. You no longer amuse me.